Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was a beautiful day up until about two hours ago. It started to rain. I think it was about mm. two hours ago. It started to rain <clears throat> and I went outside and here's Emma. Emma brought her babies down so you're going to see a little video of that. A little bit of the garden, a little bit of dust bathing from Dorothy and I don't know what else, but anyways, I'm going to put the videos in right here. I came out because I was doing my video and I noticed Emma has her babies outside. So we're going to show you. She brought them outside. No, no, Emma, we're going to stay in. I'm just going to show that you have your babies out. Whoa, hello, little ones. She's got them walking around. She brought them out early. <laughs> it's all five of her little baby. She's so happy and she's so fluffed up. Oh my goodness. Your babies are beautiful there, Emma. Now, all we have to do is hope that there's all girls. <laughs> good, good hoping, huh? Look at you, you're so darn cute. All this peeping. Wherever she goes, they go. Dust bathing. Open the gate. Let me see if I can keep them. They're all dust bathing with Dorothy. Look at them, how they fluff their feathers. They're good little chickies. This is so fun to watch. Yes. And you, are you trying to take, steal the camera by putting yourself right in front of it? I think you are. Everybody's having a good time. Emma's got her babies inside. There's Emma. She brought her babies down last night. You'll see the little video, I think. Oh, Brownie, you're making a lot of noise. And I brought the dog kennel in because she was going to try to sleep on the floor. They're too little to get back up into the chicken house, apparently. She brought them down too soon. They're not, they weren't even a week old, and she was bringing them down. But she's got them eating like little chickens. They're so cute and fluffy. That little black one has the hardest time because it's the smallest. The other ones seem to be doing a little easier, finding life a little easier. But that little black one, I actually had to help it today to make the little stepping stone a little better so it could get up and get in. Oh, Brownie, you are so loud. See, Brownie, Brownie makes a lot of noise just for the sake of making noise. What do you girls want? Hello. You're over here by my shoulder. Hi. Do you see my camera? Yeah, it's so pretty. Are you gonna go in too? Okay, you can go ahead. Go in. Yeah. And they're still they're still bathing. Good thing nobody's trying to escape. I forgot to shut the gate. I'm not a good farmer, and that's the case. See, the gate's opened. I forgot to shut it. Oops. I'm going to shut it now. Now it's shut. I was watching Mark, the Arkansas woodcutter, and he was cutting, I mean, he was planting um, sweet potato slips, and I thought, you know what? I better plant that potato that I bought for the, for the mealworms. It's already going to seed, so we're going to cut it, and I'm going to plant it. 
Okay, because there's a sprout on this one, this one, this one, and this one, those all should grow and make me a potato plant. So I'm gonna plant all of them. So I'll have four potato plants out of the one potato. And since I didn't give it to my mealworms, I guess it's going to the ground. And we'll see what we get. So what I'll do, I'm gonna just dig a hole and I'm gonna place it in. I'm just gonna place it in and cover it up a little bit. This lettuce came up on its own. I'm gonna pick it. I could eat it, but I think I'm gonna give some of it to the, to the chickens because they like lettuce. I'm just gonna pull it up. This is the lettuce that I like. This is the softer lettuce. It's more like a butter lettuce. And this planted itself. This I will bring in the house and eat myself. This is the one I like. I'll go in and have some. Oh, there's a bee. Bee says, leave my flowers. I will leave the flowers, don't worry. I'm not gonna take those. them up the rest of the way for me. And you can see there's little bugs floating. And there's what came off of the lettuce after washing it. So that's why you want to rinse your lettuce, especially if you just picked it out, picked it from outside. And here's what I got. It's all nice and clean. Show you the bowl of lettuce that I ended up with. And then I will chop this up and it will be my lunch or breakfast. I haven't eaten yet. Or maybe I'll wait a while and have it for my supper. I haven't decided. I'm not really hungry. Aren't they just the sweetest little things? And I did. I planted a potato. I was watching Mark, the Arkansas woodcutter, and he was planting sweet potato slips, you know, and I never knew that was how sweet potatoes grew with the slips, actually, or the cuttings or whatever. They, whereas the other potatoes that we plant are always a part of a potato. And as long as it's got an eye on it, it should grow. So I took that potato that I had bought. I bought it for the mealworms, and I never gave it to the mealworms because I found that I can wet a sponge and put it in there and they are just as happy with the the moisture of off the sponge so that's what i've given them instead of um putting any carrots or or potatoes or apples or oranges or things in there i find that they are doing really well with just the sponge as their moisture as long as they have a water source but anyways i bought the potato for them and i never used it and it was starting to sprout and I could have cooked it up, taken the eyes off and cooked it. It was still a good potato, but I decided I would just plant it. And so now I will get four plants and probably, I don't know how many potatoes I'll get, but we'll find out when it's, I'm sure I'll get more than one potato, definitely. And I also show you me picking the lettuce. There was lettuce that grew all by itself and I picked that. You saw that and you saw the, um, you already saw these things. Why am I telling you? <laughs> I don't know. They already know. saw Why it. Are you? I don't know. <laughs> well, they, and I got tagged again by Wendy Barron, and it was uh, the ten question tag for how uh, it was like being under. You know, what is my life different? The ten question quarantine tag. I guess I will do the tag, but not that exact tag. I was looking. Boy, it's hard to find questions. I was looking to see if I could find some questions that would be a little bit different because I've already done that one and a lot of you have done that one. And I thought maybe I could start a different tag of some sort. But it may not be on that. It might be on something altogether different. I don't know. It's hard to find questions. It's really, even though they're written out, it's like, oh, I don't want to answer that one. Eh, 
I don't want to answer that one. <laughs> and that's how it's been going. And it's really hard to find um, questions. So when I find the questions that I think I want to answer, then I will tag somebody to answer that those questions. And I will do that video. So until then, I hope you had a great day. And I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.